I believe we're all vulnerable to addiction because drugs work on areas of the brain that are essential for how we live our lives. Drugs change the way we think. They change the way we prioritize things in our life. And they change the way the environment looks to us so that we begin to associate using drugs with uh, changes in mood, people and places. And we become conditioned. And any one of us could become addicted to a drug, I think, in, the, in, the, in, a, in a set of circumstances that would place us at risk. So if we take that view and think about, well, what are the signs of addiction? Then they're really a habit that's begun to be too ingrained. One of the easiest ways of telling whether you have an alcohol problem, for example, is asking yourself, can I limit the number of drinking days I have each week? Or could I have a complete alcohol holiday for a fortnight? And when you talk to somebody about that, and you say, well, you know, could you, could you stop drinking for two weeks? Most people look at you and they, they become a bit uncomfortable. Um, or they say, no, that's no problem. In fact, I, I haven't had a drink for the last three weeks. I find it very straightforward and interesting and easy to do that. But if you can't do that, if you can't cut down how often and how much you're using uh, a psychoactive substance, such as alcohol, nicotine, heroin, cocaine, all of them, then you're at risk. And that's the point, I think, when you need to start thinking about um, whether you need help, whether you need to ch formally change behavior. I think there used to be a lot of resistance to believing that there were, if you will, types of personality that were associated with addiction. Um, I remember when I was first receiving training in this field, the view was that there were no biological causes. It was a social problem. It was, it, addiction was, was born out of um, poverty, unemployment, social disadvantage somehow. And that always seemed to me to be um, both a kind of correct description of some drug subcultures, but hardly a sufficient condition of the sort of expression and nature of addiction itself. So I think what we found in the last 10 years of research is increasing evidence for a particular biological set of characteristics that make a person more vulnerable. That does appear to be aspects of personality that make a young person more interested in experimenting in drug problems and perhaps more vulnerable to developing regular use and then downstream addiction. Those personality characteristics include a, a sort of propensity, a desire to seek out new or exciting experiences, sensation seeking. Other characteristics are perhaps a, a personality which is more vulnerable to stress and a personality with lower mood. And those aspects come together and they do make a, a person more likely to be at risk of harm in the future.